The following program has been rated T for teen for violence, strong language, and adult subject matter. Viewer's discretion is advised. Permanent amphetamine psychosis syndrome. Loading sequence completed. That's why there are fans, and we love them. Yes, we do. Hey, hey Bell. All right, let me get this. I need your help. I, mean, I, think plenty of I need you as a uh, special enforcer in my match against Zero anyway, tonight. I, I finally figured out that Midnight might not be Zero. I'm still an asshole, people, though. So yeah. We can, we can keep that as a reason to hate him, but Ghost has to get ready for his triple threat match. for the. Uh, he has a rematch clause with Midnight tonight, yeah. and since he can't do it, I need you. I need your help. So you think and it's supposed to be a handicap match, right? right? Yeah, yeah, so I, I need you as my secondary. You, you, you be my huckleberry, huh? Come on, yo. Come on. Yeah, for all time's sake. Broken Express forever, bro. Balling. Let's do this shit. I'm Dwayne Jordan, and for the first time, sitting beside me at the commentating booth, got it, got it. eating some donuts and drinking some soda. This is AWF Amp coming off the heels of South Carolina. Like Bobby Joe. All right, then. It's actually good to have you beside me. Right, cut. 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 It's good to be back here. All right. No, well, we got I'll STD in the ring, and he's getting ready to talk. So and let's listen would. in. That is a weapon. All right, so I come out here today with my old friend Glenn Bell. Oh. Sorry to interrupt you, but product placement. Cola. Oh, get out of the way. Come out here today with my good friend Glenn Bell. Brother, the ghost cannot be with me today because he's getting ready for his triple threat hardcore match, for his rematch clause and whatnot. But to tell you the God's honest truth. It doesn't matter who I came out here with or if I came out here alone. No offense to you, of course. No, no problem. But today I, I'm seeking revenge. I come out here first today because my vengeance has been a long time coming. Zero's been attacking me backstage, misleading me into thinking that it was midnight. No apologies there. He's still an asshole. All right. But bottom line is I am sick. So sick and tired. The message is on the walls. The, 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 the whispers that I hear when I go home banging my wife. I mean, I don't think anyone else does. You know, I didn't know. Sorry, that was me. It's fine. You don't wear a black mask like a pervert. All right. Today is retribution. I, as much as I wish the ghost could be here, he can't, but he'll be able to see it whenever we get it done. Believe me. Now go on ahead. Bring this dead man out. Well, STD calling out Zero after weeks yeah. of getting attacked. And Bobby Joe, I don't know if you've been watching the shows, but originally STD thought Zero was midnight. Well, he's a small feller, so I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, look at him. He's small, he's skinny. The only thing he's missing is hair. Well, Zero at Southdown attacked STD while STD was attacking midnight. So this match is actually somewhat of a retribution, but STD has brought in the help of Glenn Bell, who used to be Demetrius Bain. 
the team of the Broken Express. Well, I don't know what they're drinking in there, but it's Charlotte the Tate. Uh, I'm not sure you've done it. Hmm. Zero kind of looks intimidating, even though he's a little fella. Intimidating is not the word I'm looking for, Bobby Joe. The only thing that's intimidating is your wife on a Saturday night. Zero's not that intimidating. My wife on a Saturday night. Well, ex-wife. Oh! Bell! I meant to say ex-wife, but... Well, there's the bell. Let's see him get it started here. Glenn Bell, Zero, in the ring to start with. He's spraying that, I guess it's cola. <laughs> off brand cola. In the eyes of Zero. Are you sure that wasn't Bud Light? It is Glenn uh, Bell. It might have been. I don't know. Glenn Bell losing to Justin Chambers in a non title oh match at God. Southbound. They had to hurt his butt. Uh, what was the bell bomb? Can't use the other name for it. I might get sued by somebody. Hey, dude, your mom was telling you to tap. I know you got that memo. Your mother's a pigeon and your dad's But Glenn Bell's. Pretty much. Well, never mind. I was going to say he's on top of his game, but he just got taken down by Zero. That was a nice little DDT there by Zero. Zero now got the leg of Glenn Bell and kicking the knee, trying to take out Glenn Bell's vertical base. The STD is itching to get in this match. That's got to ring the bells. Double leg. Unintended. Double leg. <laughs> Double leg drop to the boys there, Glenn Bell. Zero pretty much holding his own and Zero is shooting. I think we're actually, you know, fighting the drug use in America, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell Glenn Bell to say no to crack. He needs to say no to a lot of crack. That crack is well, it's just a full moon, let's just say that. He got more crack than Harlem, New York. I just put donuts on commentary. Sounds like you got something in your mouth. Right, there's a donut. Glenn Bell now with a spinning, <laughs> well, look like he copied Ghost's move to Ghostbuster, which is paying homage to Ghost, who later on the night will be taking on Midnight, who has invoked his rematch clause for the now, what used to be the hardcore title, now the Abwa Championship. Screw this. Oh, what's he going for here? STD with a fisherman suplex into a bridge pin, two count only. I wasn't sure whose shoulders were down there. STD now stomping on the chest, walking straight across Zero, like he's nothing more than dirt under his feet. He needs to stay on this Zero fella. He's giving him too much recoup. Oh, no, sir. Zero, I don't think he stands a chance against STD. The only way he got STD down last week was a sneak attack. And there, Glenn Bell with more of that spraying of that mist, polo, whatever you want to call it. That was a nice bulldog there. <laughs> bulldog takes effect oh, on the head fun. of zero. Yeah, it is. STD in full control. Now, can you please tell me, Bobby Joe, why it took you so long to get back to the commentator's booth? Why you got to keep getting in so much trouble? Well, tag hey. and cock fans. Remember that tag move we made? People getting me in trouble all the time. Uh, First, it started with the first show back, the first amp, <coughs> discussion your contract yeah. negotiations. The second one, you ended up having car trouble or something of that degree. Blue, and then this two. last one, high, Southbound, high, high. you just didn't make it because you got in trouble and got arrested and they said no. That was a <laughs> breast bump, I believe. It was something. It took zero down. Then again, if you pull the funk together, those two men, it'll take anything down. Yeah. I heard STD's got some raunchy feet. I heard Glenn Bell's got some body odor for a yeah. Wait a minute. What is Midnight doing out here? He, he has nothing to do with this. Is he match. playing mind games with STD? STD left him for the Wolves. Gets prime time in Night Stalker in the finals of the Tag Team Turmoil Tournament. I don't know what Midnight's doing out here, but I don't like it. Midnight staring STD Midnight, down from here? across the ring. Especially oh. See, it's not really phasing STD. He's just kind of holding his own there as Glenn Bell is beating Zero down even more. 
I stand corrected. What just happened? Come on, Zero. Ah! Pretty sure it could have been a little bit harder. Ah! Leg drop across the throat. Now, there's a lot of speculation as to who Zero really is. Ah! I mean, do you have any idea, Bobby Joe? Do you have a, any kind of idea whatsoever who Zero might be? I thought he was Midnight until just now. A lot of people thought he was Midnight. I know on the forum some guy named Wrestling God Damn thought he was combat. Midnight. A couple other people said the same thing. Rolling across Glenn Bell's chest. Well, I do know this. Oh, I thought he was Midnight. He still got the same wrestling style, so you know Midnight didn't hire somebody to come out there and play Zero, so... Nobody... Explain why Midnight's standing over there and Zero's in the ring. Something's not right with this matchup. Something definitely ain't right with Midnight being out there toying with STD. STD just needs to watch his back. Old Midnight's got a... He's had a hardcore streak going on here. He needs to watch himself. That's oh, pretty back in the yeah. game. He would another side, mouthful of donut. Son. You sure that's all it is? Mr. Donut. Apparently, Sports Entertainment Incorporated takes care of their commentators. They left us a whole buffet out here. Up and down! Oh, and I believe this is going to be it right here. One, two, three. Run the bell. There's the three count. This match is over. And STD and Glenn Bell get the victory here, but Midnight is still out there. There's no telling what's going to happen yeah. next. What's STD? STD is going to unmask Zero. What the? No. Oh my. Ah. Midnight attacking Glenn Bell, but that ain't a story what here. What the hell? Zero. Inference. Inference. Did Ghost. Midnight dress up and oh. ghost to Zero? Or what is going on here? Oh, Midnight's behind him. Doing? He needs to turn around. What's he whoa, gonna whoa, do? Whoa, 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 STD whoa, whoa, and Ghost whoa, whoa. staring at each other. Sorry, dude, Go uh oh no. You gotta turn be kidding around. me. No, see, you don't. He just told Midnight to turn. Uh, he just told STD no. to turn around. Midnight with the golf club. Oh, He's attacking no. Glenn Bell. You have got to be kidding me. I can't believe what I'm oh. seeing. Pixelator oh. to Glenn Bell. That's one of Ghost's. Well, it was his best friend. What has gotten in the ghost? What in the world is going on here? Midnight and ghost. Oh. Why? Why? Did you? It's ghost. Why did you? You got me. STD asking why. And there's STD's answer. I cannot believe what we just saw. What a shocker to open up. Amped. Ghost. Revealed to be the man who's been attacking STD for the past few weeks. He pretty much turned his back on his own brother. Fuck STD. Fuck all this shit. STD is not happening. This might be the end of STD as we know it. It's the end of the broken arms, that's for sure. Look at Glenn Bell. He can't even comprehend. Ah! I can't even comprehend what happened. We'll have to figure it out. We got a commercial break to take. Bobby Joe, we'll be right back. AWF amped, and after what we just saw, Bobby Joe, who can even trust Ghost nowadays? I can't trust him. I was pulling for him against Midnight, but now apparently they done joined cahoots together. 
We've got people turning against their partners. If it wasn't Justin Chambers turning on Dickens at Southbound, it's Ghost turning on STD. That ain't ever good. Nope, and now we got the Saint, the man who claims he's going to cleanse the evil out of AWF. Did you ever get a backstory on this guy, Bobby Joe? No, I sure didn't. We've been away for a while. I hear somewhere down the line he's Jesus' brother. He's heard he was from Rome, and whenever he actually filled out his contract, Fury actually asked him, was he from Rome, Georgia? Well, Fury's a sorry sack of bones. Fury cost the demon world title at Southbound. I don't even think we're going to see Fury today. Here we go. We're going to see this guy. New look, new attitude, Snake. Snake just needs to call himself Grass Snake. Grass Snake, Bobby hey, Joe? Hey, look at him. Why not Trouser Snake? Trouser Snake. Can't really do much of nothing. Trouser Snakes are supposed to be valuable. The who? Women? Only. Well, I don't know about this Snake feller, but he needs to go ahead and make his presence known here in the AWF. He he's, does. He's just sitting back and pretty much letting everybody manhandle him. Both men using martial arts kicks. Saint got the first shot in. What is this? Snake looks like he's setting up for a suplex, but you don't suplex a man who's twice your size. He's going to pay for it right here. Oh! That was, what was that? A sit down suplex? He sat down, but he let him go in mid stride, and Snake flew across the ring. I guess we'll call that the blessed suplex. He blessed him. Oh, yeah. See, we are naming moves here, ladies and gentlemen. Keep a tally at home. I guess you got a scorecard. Kick straight to the chest. Saints' feet, they're deadlier than uh, anybody's on the face of the planet. Well, uh, with the exception of STDs. Yeah, STDs got them known. As the Saint locks in that leg submission, he's got it cinched in pretty good. Bobby Joe knows about uh, cinching things in pretty good, don't you, Bobby Joe? Yeah, you're right. I do. I cinch it on in there. And... Well, back to the match. Yeah, uh, back to the match, please. Uh, fans at home that want to throw up, and Lord knows this ain't AWF Live. I don't feel like vomiting. Though I've been on meds for the past week and a half. Thanks to Night Stalker. Thank God he's not here tonight. Uh, if Night Stalker was here, I would. Hey, open up them fists. That's a scary feller. Snake coming back with some fierce punches. Well, those aren't quite fierce. It's just a couple of shots to the back of the head. Enough to take down the saint. You know, the, oh, what in the world? What, well, like a straddle. So does that. I'm starting to question the snake fella. Okay, that works. He's actually got a... Uh, one of the basic leg moves locked on the Saint. I think the Saint needs someone to pray for him. Dear Lord, I apologize for letting Snake wrestle the Saint because uh, apparently the Saint is uh, giving him a chance here. I'm not going to say he's going to win the match. I'm just saying old Saint is actually giving him the opportunity. Bless those starting with Pygmies in New Guinea. Amen. Did I just say that, Bobby Joe? I've been hanging around you too damn long. Amen. You got me watching some cable guy movies. As the Saint reverses, he got the ropes. there's another One. leg submission. Two. But Snake got the ropes. Oh. Stiff punch to the gut. Off the ropes goes Snake. Barely. Oh. What 
did he just do? Did he just tomahawk kick, kick him? Tomahawk Five, kick to the chest. Two, two count only. Either that or the ref's blind. <laughs> AWF really needs to hire some better referees, I will say that much. There's a good kick to the gut. Some shots to the noggin. Ref telling him to open up the fist, but he ain't listening. Well, I don't think anybody listens when the ref tells him that. Standing on bar. Never seen this. I mean, haven't seen it in a while. The Saint just needs to go ahead and put this match out of here. One quick kick to the noggin could take Snake down in a heartbeat. But these punches to the head aren't helping the brain capacity of the Saint. He might forget that the Pope One, sent him on a mission. Two, that was kind of an arrogant pin here by Snake. What is he thinking? Snake's been a little cocky as of late. He needs to... Put a move on, get down there and be aggressive with a pin. He might just get a W under his belt. Snake with that awkward Irish whip and a clothesline across the gut. Double axe handle. Is he trying to take advantage of that big old gut hanging out down there? I think he is trying to take advantage. Saint and all white, not the best kind of clothes to wear out here because they end up dingy and dirty and I feel bad for his cleaning bill. But he's been on his back more times in this match than Jenna Jameson has in... I need to shut up. Did he just was, hit... That was a nice move. He just hit a, a former wrestler's move. He hit Cheyenne Shy he, Factor. Is he trying to pin him? Face down? What is I guess he is. Well, if he was trying to use Cheyenne's finishing move to get the attention of her for the managerial position, it ain't working. The Saint just lost a match after Snake was too dumb to roll him over. He actually tried to pin he him face down. He tried to pin down. him while he was face down, but even worse, he used someone else's finishing maneuver to take him out. I'm, on, I'm, I'm in shock. I wouldn't be surprised if I hear about this on a blog on the Fan Nation tomorrow. Well, he's being a good guy and helping the Saint out. Well, that's good sportsmanship right there. That's all I can say about that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got more action coming up. Bobby Joe, take us to commercial. We'll be right back on AWF Amp. Yes. Ghost. You know what? Yeah. We're going to advertise podcasts, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we AWF are. Radio proudly presents Broken Arms, the shiziest show in America. In America. In America. In America. Okay, we got Dwayne Jordan and Bobby, Bobby Joe Hickman. Hickman. Yeah, I like those guys. Yeah, they're funny. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Bobby Joe's mama, she really is on three corners of Ninth Street. Yeah. Uh, that was his wife. And his mother. I've had both of them. They're the same person. That explains a lot. There's like the spaces in his teeth. Yeah, anyway. And soon to come, we got House of Pain, the Survivor of Pain. We yep. got Shine Spotlight. Shine. 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 She's hot. Shite! <laughs> She's hot. Shine. 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 All that good stuff. Anyway, we've got more to come for you on AWF Radio. You need to stay tuned, post message for us, send us some, send us some feedback, because we love to know how we're doing. To our fans, and those are the only ones that matter. Broken Arm signing off. Peace, bitches. Welcome back, AWF Amps. And this is, I guess you'd call it the main event of the evening. Midnight Ghost Hardcore Match for the Abwa Championship once again. Well... After we just saw earlier this evening, I don't know if this is going to be a very good match or not. Uh, both men are on the same page. This might be actually out of respect. Ghost is the one that accepted the match. They've been beating the hell out of each other. They're in cahoots. Then they were doing a really good job of covering up their tracks because they beat the crap out of each other for the past several weeks. Well, I want to say what well, this match is going to hold. 
I just think it's just wrong for Ghost to do what he did to SGE and then come out here and defend his title and he's the man who helped him do it. And there's the man right there you're mentioning, the current Abla champion. What's up? What the f Ghost. I, I kind of like it. Which now I see it. Now I'm actually I getting understanding. I get my here. Shirt. Midnight and Ghost beat the crap out of each other because they're members of the group Abwa. And Abwa, so their goal, number one rule, was yep. to create anarchy and chaos. <laughs> and, well, they didn't care if they beat the crap out of somebody right, else or each other. Well, old Ghosty here, he's, he's done flipped the script on all of us in AWF. Turned his back on his own brother. Now he's defending the title that he rightfully won from Midnight from the man who helped him turn on his brother. What's the world coming to? Man, slapping each other five in the middle of the ring. We got a smoker in the ring. Oh, 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 what's time out of here? And the ref coming in smoking a cigarette. Yeah. There's something not right about that. But then again, this is the Apple Championship. So. Maybe it's completely under Admiral rules as this match gets underway with Midnight tossing Ghost around the ring. Stumping the arm. He's applying pressure there. Now, if you're on the same page, why would you hurt the guy you're teamed up with? Because both of them Here, just don't care. Oh. Leg drop through Midnight's legs. Midnight right back up. When did Midnight become Superman? What are you doing? Aw, uh, little scared baby got to go get weapon. Ghost on the outside oh, grabbing... I know, I know. Here, go buy yourself a shirt. Cookie sheet <laughs> and a license plate. Oh, well, there went my banner. <laughs> You're the penny at him. We got stuff flying in the ah. arena. As, ah. Oh! Backbreaker by Midnight taking Ghost yeah, down. Cheap. A stump for added measure. Now, hey. I know you've seen the match between these two at Southbound. You think there's any way they could oh. top that matchup, Bobby Joe? Ah. Well, no. Ah. But, well, let's just hope that no ladder gets involved and Ghost decides ah. he wants to fly it? like an eagle. Because he fell like a brick. Right. Oh, yeah. Midnight now trying to shatter the ankle of Ghost. Both men back up to a vertical base and Midnight's letting Ghost catch some air. Colorobo. Both men locked up in the ring, but we got a hammer lock by Ghost. Do you give? Yeah, this fruit comes over here seems like it's a little spike. Yeah. Bobby Joe, I think you used to like the fruit Not punch so earlier. Fun, is it? Oh. I don't want sports. You're entertainment doing you're you're you're, you're, do, you're taking uh, AA classes uh, because Sports Entertainment Incorporated told you to in order to get back in the booth. Yeah, Wow, easy. you're right, it is a little uh, spike. Let's see. I didn't do it this it time. It is good though. Try to buy you two shirts with that. Uh, I've already had like twelve glasses, fifteen glasses. I, I don't know, I lost count. This is the stuff we call hunt. I punch. thought, I oh, thought I felt a little funny. Uh, Bobby Joe, you got me drunk. Uh, anyway, back to the matchup at hand. Mm -hmm. My adrenaline get. Hopefully, my adrenaline don't get pumping too much. The alcohol will go through my system faster that way. By the time this match is over, I'll be drunker than a coon. Hey. Listen to me, I'm rubbing off on you. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Drunker than a coon. Watch it, Bobby Joe. And these donuts done got me full of that tick on a bloodhound. There goes Midnight now, taking that chair, still trying to take out that ankle. Shinbreaker! By Ghost! I'm slurring my words. I said shin, I meant chin. I'm talking about the leg. Ghostbuster under the chair! And donut in mouth. Go buy a shirt. What? Donut in mouth. As Ghost straddles Midnight with those mounted punches. 
<laughs> I said straddles. One, two, oh, one, Lord, the alcohol's two, starting to come into play. Two. Bobby Joe, I'd kill you. I didn't do it. That's right. what? Damn it. Who spiked it? Ah. I didn't spike it. There's the drop. Need to the back by midnight, the ghost. Come on. Go small One, package! Two, three, oh, three, three count! There it is. What the? God, that, what the? Hey, get back here! You winner! It's all over, Ghost playing a smart small package! Ghost! Wasn't as what? intense as I thought it would be. This time, but nonetheless, very, very effective. Midnight. Oh, here you go, there's your shirt! Lost this match. <laughs> You can see how red their chest are. <laughs> Ghost retains the Apple Championship. Well, we can't say he's not a fighting champion. <laughs> Whoa! There we go. STD! Just through the ring, right in, tackle first. Now he's just manhandling him, choking him out. Well, no! Glenn Bell having to pull him off. He's still your brother, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's do this. I see a lot of hatred there. I don't think this is over with there, Bobby Joe. I don't think so either. I foresee. I need more punch. I foresee hell breaking loose here. Remember that Camaro I brought, bought with all that drug money for you? Here we go. Enjoy it. The muffler off of a Camaro. I liked that car. That STD bought for Ghost oh. apparently with with drug money. Ah. And the Ghost just oh, busted it. Shit. It just spewed red paint everywhere. Well, red. Whatever, it looked like paint, but I guess that would be uh, transmission fluid, oil, or something like that. I don't know. Well, what, what? Wait a minute. We've got Justin Chambers music playing. He was not scheduled to be in here tonight. The North American champion, along with the bombshell champion. Chris! Get your fucking ass on here! He don't sound too happy. He just called out Chris Dickens. The Bobby Joe Dickens is answering hey, the call. Snake. You got a problem? Bring your ass in here too. Call me out. Our current AWF World Champion. He answered the call. But he's out there against the mountable odds. Justin Chambers is one thing. Some might think the bombshell champion Denise Wimp might not be anything. Oh, whoa! Jumping in from behind. As I was saying, the bombshell champion is a little tougher than most of these guys on the roster. This is just some mauling. I think Chambers wants to end Dickens' career. I don't understand the meaning. What is he going for now? Dickens trying to get his, I guess, not the cobwebs that were just brought into his brain out. Totally back my ass up away from this. Hey, what are you doing? Well, you Chambers doing? is on the outside. What's Chambers oh, doing? The light. Oh, so Dickens is trying to get back up to a vertical base. Oh, well, your brother is in a world Oh, my. Uh, uh, I see hey, fire. Uh, Careful with that, dude. Uh, he, he, Chris? Chris, you don't need to leave it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, that thing just ignited! And Chambers is using it against my brother. Yeah, Bobby Joe, you're right. My brother's about to get his ass beat. Another hit, three hits to the back with a flaming baseball bat. Jesus! Looks like something you rednecks might do down there deep down south. But we're not used to that sort of deal. Apparently, Chambers is Ow. quite fond of it. Dude. Well, Chambers is putting a hurting on your brother. He's choking. I'm not even going to go. That wouldn't even sound right coming out of my mouth. He's choking Dickens. Yes, yeah, it doesn't sound right. Ma'am, are you supposed to be here? 
Have another one. Oh, why not? Oh. I'm watching my brother get his butt handed to him. All right, try by this. his former not... partner who turned his back on him. He just hit midnight. What? What was he? What was midnight? And now he's got oh, that musty's car, man. Oh, muffler to the back of the head. I can see I'm gonna be spending the night at the hospital tonight. Well, did, what do you think he did to deserve all this? I don't know what's going on. Apparently, the rumor flying around is that Denise went, told Justin Chambers about something that she found out about Dickens that he's been hiding for some time, and it instituted Chambers to turn his back. Apparently, I heard Deathbringer already paid the $150,000 bounty to Chambers. For attacking Dickens. Well, that's just shady business. You're going to turn on your partner for money. They just threw him into an ironing board, and now Chambers is just, I guess he's just toying with my brother here. Oh! I don't know what kind of move he's that was. seen his head bounce off his knee as he landed. Dickens is probably knocked out. Oh. There we go again. God. Now he's covering with a cocky One, pin. Two. Oh, Chris, you got oh. so much energy. Huh. Oh, my. I don't even know if I can watch this anymore. I need to drink more. Well, apparently... Thank God whoever spiked the punch. Apparently, this isn't a uh, sanctioned match here. It's just Chambers trying to prove a point. It's just Chambers proving a point. And Dickens, he can't even get back up. How am I going to explain this to Mom? Oh no, Mom, it's okay. I was just sitting here commentating a match as my brother got his ass whipped. She'd understand it if you were in the bed with her. You, you know what? Now you got to start talking about my mom. This isn't the time or the place. Now Chris gets choked out again by Chambers with that chair. That broken chair. As Denise went and taunts him right in front of his face. I do not understand what the deal is with the North American champion and the bombshell champion. Oh. Now she's holding oh. that broken... Oh. This is... I'm, I'm getting sickened by this, Bobby Joe. Well, I would be too if that was my brother in there. This is... I know the people at home are going, well, if you care so much oh, about no, your brother... No, no. Well, he just got stomped. <laughs> But I know people at home are wondering, if you care so much about your brother, why come you ain't down there doing anything? Well, I have a job to think about. I can lose my job. I do have a family to support, too. This is just wrong. This you got is. Denise Went and Justin Chambers in there using weapons. And can they not take him down? No, 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 no. You can't hey, even do hey, anything hey, in chill, return. Chill, chill, chill. Wait. Okay, voice of reason, STD and Glenn Bell, but that didn't work. Uh, STD's just trying to help somebody out because nobody was there to help him when his brother turned his back on him. Well, he said forget it. After getting Jay Worth getting jumped, chair shot in the back. You know, I seriously think I need to get a hold of prime time. I need to get, yeah, I need to get a contract. Well, you go ahead and get a hold of old prime time over there in RWA. Chris, uh, prime time runs that for Battleborn, but uh, I told you I had your back. Uh, I lied. I have your ankle. Ah! Ooh! Somebody needs to get out here and stop this man. Somebody needs to do something. There went, there went my brother's ankle. Where in the world is that sorry sack of bones, Fury, when all this is going? Fury don't care about Chris. He doesn't care about anybody but himself and what he can do for himself. Sorry, sack of bones. Now Chambers has got a ladder. Oh no! Are you kidding me? I ain't even about to stop. You know what? No, he is not about to do what I think he's gonna do. Oh! Kicking him in the throat of Chris Dickens. Chambers has got some answering coming to his way. Good luck, Dickens. Ah! At least Chris 
Got to block that one, but that's not working. There's not enough strength in his body to completely block it. As his windpipe is cut off. I can't believe I'm calling the beat down of my brother. You know, I really like this Justin Chambers fella until right now. I just think he's a sorry excuse for a wrestler. and Taking him down with the finishing move. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bombshell champion dropping Dickens. This is just dirty. Come on, is Chambers. It? What is it? Bro, no. before hoes. Oh, my God. One, two, three. Talk about the ultimate punk card. What's he saying? He's suspected. Dickie, I'll be back for that belt. He just said he's coming for the belt when Chris Lee's expected. Folks, I can't, I don't know what to think about this, Bobby Joe, but we're out of time. See you guys later.